So I've been putting this video off for about a week now, mostly because it's probably the most personal video I've ever uploaded on the channel. And in fact, I'm probably gonna literally title this video, this is the most personal video I uploaded on my channel. Obviously about three weeks ago now, we hit the big milestone of hitting a million subscribers. And, and as cliche as it sounds, I honestly never thought I would get to that point. Even when I was at, a, at like sitting at like 900,000 subs, I was still questioning like, am I, are we gonna get hit? Are we gonna get to that point? You know, <laughs> a lot can happen. You know, we had a pandemic going on. You never know what could happen in, in a short amount of time. When I first started YouTube, people used to ask me, like literally when I had like 500 subs, they were like, do you think you can get to you know, 100,000 subs, 500,000? I always said yes, but anytime people ask me about a million, I was like, I don't know about that one. You know, maybe, maybe we'll get to the point where I'll grow as far as I can grow. And at that point, I hang out at that number. And I, again, I do my best to put out the content that, you know, people enjoy. And that's the thing, like with me, like anything I've ever done in life, I've always been average at best, no matter how hard I try it. I never forget when I was 14. And I wanted to try out for, for a sports team in high school. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to try out for baseball. I had never really played baseball before. I was not in shape, by the way. I was like this little chubby 14-year-old kid. And I'm like, I know what? I'm going to try out. And I just want to see what happens. I knew I was going to get cut. Even as we were trying out for like that week, week and a half process, I'm watching people who are just outdoing me and everything. They're, I know they were going to get cut. I was like, man, if that person going to get cut, if that person going to get cut, I'm about to get just butchered. <laughs> But the thing is, is I tried, you know, I, I I did my best, you know, I I tried my heart out and then I'm getting cut and I was not disappointed. I was more proud of myself for just trying. I guess the message that I'm trying to send here is even though you know you're average at something, it doesn't mean you shouldn't go for it, you shouldn't try. You, you should just give it your best regardless, you know, because I often see people think like, there's no way in hell I can do this. I'm not even going to bother trying. And, 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 and at that point, you already lost. But if, at least if you give it a shot, you know, you never know where that could take you. And that's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to try everything out there that you could potentially try in life. You got that big job you want to go for? Try it. You got that big exam that you know if you pass, you can get better opportunities? Try it. But I also want to push the second message where if you don't achieve those things, if you're just, you know, average, for example, like me, that's fine too. It's it's fine. Like, I feel like the, the, the big pressure growing up is, is we're always being pushed, at least in my life. I was always pushed... Uh, by everybody around me that like you have to do x y and z and if you don't that's it if you don't get into the best school you're not gonna be shit if you don't get this grade at, at, at an a if you don't get 100 percent of this test you ain't gonna be shit like there's a lot of stuff in my life that was like that where it was like super super crazy pressure for someone at my age at the time that i was just like you're overwhelming me and i want to be the one to tell you right now if you don't achieve those goals if you don't get those grades if you don't get those jobs that's fine because guess what the next day is gonna be a whole new day there's gonna be more opportunities out there. There's gonna be more stuff that's gonna fall into your lap or you might have to work to get into your lap. There's gonna be a lot of stuff that you come across where when time is right, it's gonna be all worth it, you know? In my case, <laughs> as my voice cracks, in my case, you know, I started doing YouTube as a thing uh, that I just love doing and I still love doing today. I never treat YouTube as a job. Like, it's, it's, as weird as it sounds, I think maybe the closest I come to treating it as a job is, is knowing I have to upload every single day. But I didn't start YouTube as a way, you know what? This would be a fun way to make extra money. I started YouTube just because it was fun creating content, you know? Being able to play a game, just goof off, upload it, and people watch. People were like, you know what, I'm gonna watch this. That's what it was all about, you know? When a new game comes out, I love sharing my excitement for whatever was being, you know, released or whatever was out at the time. Cause there are people out there like me who also had the same excitement for these games. And that's, that's why I was doing it, you know? I often see people get into YouTube and they end up hating it because they're too obsessed. They get drowned out with the pressures of being a content creator, you know, like keeping up with numbers and stuff like that, or sometimes seeing a video not perform as well. It happens, you know, <laughs> it happens. You know, a lot of times I upload a video, I'm thinking, yeah, this is gonna be great. And I see it the next day, I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. The next one will do better. You know, the way I see it is like, if you have a, even a week, let's say you have a bad week of content, the week after that's even better. Like you just gotta keep going, keep going. That's the other message to put in the video. Keep going regardless of what happens. So I got this about, a week ago and if you guys follow me on Instagram it's been sitting in the corner of my office and I don't know like normally uh, you get this you upload it, you do unboxing that day up but I, I didn't want to just do one of those cliche kind of videos I mostly just kind of want I guess share this side of my life which I don't usually share because like I try, I, I try to separate the rhyme style from the Dino sometimes you know when you come to the content I, I want you to just be there and have fun with the content that's uploaded but every now and then I do want to also share uh, more to it like stuff like this where I'm like, I'm like talking to you guys directly about for example what you want to achieve in, in fact in the comments I want you to do a couple things number one 
what is it out there that you yourself are working to, I guess, get to? What, 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 what's your big goals in life? And if you're younger, you're probably like, I rhyme, I can't answer that question, which is fine. When I was uh, in college, <laughs> When I actually, let's, let's start earlier. When I was in high school, going into college, I was like, I don't know what the hell I want to do. I thought I wanted to major in business because everybody was pushing me to do it, which is something that, that also I was going back with the whole pressure of everybody around me. It's like a lot of times you get pressured into wanting to do something and you realize you end up hating it. I had so many people who majored in stuff in college that they didn't even like. And I'm like, why are you doing this? You boy? It's too deep now. I've been studying this for three years. I'm like, no, it's not. Just start over. Like, don't, don't dig yourself into a hole getting into something that you know you're not going to enjoy. And I thought I wanted to do business. So I, for the first three years of college, I studied business, only to realize I hated everything about it. <laughs> so then I ended up uh, focusing more on like uh, IT stuff, and I actually ended up graduating. Actually, you know, fun fact, I didn't actually end up graduating. What ended up happening is, is in my last year of college, I got, I got an internship out in California. I did the internship. Basically, they said, you know, we got this job for you when you're done. In fact, don't even go back. I'm like, nah, I can go back. I'm going to go back to my last semester, come back, and then we're done. But that last semester, I failed one class, one singular class that had nothing to do with IT. And because of that one class, I technically never got my diploma. I did the, I walked and everything. I did the entire ceremony. <laughs> I never got the actual uh, diploma. It's even funny because they sent me the they sent me the the diploma holder. And if you open it, I actually just have a, a drawing of a smiley face in there, just because that <laughs> at the time I thought it was funny to put that in there. So yeah, I have that, but I don't actually have my diploma because of that one class. But anyways, that's beside the point. The point is. Even as I was getting to graduate, I, I still had no idea what I was going to do at the end of the day. And it, it kind of sucks that as you're growing up, you get pressure into thinking what you want to do. And then sometimes you just get forced into the corner to end up basically doing what you're going to do for the rest of your life and not be fully happy. And obviously it's easier said than done, but I, I highly want to uh, push you guys to pursue stuff that you love doing. You know, as I was doing my job out here, I realized how much I didn't like it. I wasn't happy and I started pushing into YouTube. I was going all in. I was more happy doing YouTube than anything else. And in the end, it kind of balanced its way out to the point where I was actually able to turn YouTube into my full-time career. It took a lot of work. <laughs> as average as best as I could be, it took a lot of work. But the point is, I'm trying to uh, prove here is, is anybody out here can do what I did. Not just for like being a YouTuber, but just achieving that one thing you want to achieve. So again, in the comment section below, I want you guys to write out your goals in life or just something that you desire or wanted to do and start doing it. Literally just start doing it and over time. It's not gonna happen overnight. Something that I also want to push is you can't just like attempt to do something. Let's say you want to be a YouTuber or a streamer. You can't make one video and do one stream and then the next day be upset when it doesn't blow up. I often see, uh, I often see stuff like why is this video exploding? Well, that person has been doing YouTube for a year. I actually seen people even uh, criticize someone like Mr. Beast. Why does this stuff? Why does kind of content get? a billion views and I made a video that got a hundred views. That's because Mr. Beast worked for it. You know, a lot of times people ignore the years of work a content creator uh, goes through before they actually achieve the numbers that basically make them who they are today. And that's something that I want to say is, is you got to put the work for it. If you put the work into it, you're going to get where you want to go at some point in life. And eventually, you know, if you're as average as I, I can be, you, you can get something like this. I'm about to open this for the first time. I'm already like cut, cut into it, but let's, let's see this. Oh, something just fell out. There it is. There's a the letter. Oh, look at that. Hold on, let me let me let me pop this out real fast so we can kind of get more on camera. And there it is. Presented to Ramstar for passing 1 million subscribers. Man, how do I even Okay, I, I was like, how do I even hang this? It's got a little thing in the back. But yeah, this right here is like it's kind of crazy looking at it. And again, you know, I I, I don't know if I said it's not in the video yet, but like I it's still kind of hard to believe and see that number and just seeing that, that the journey that it took to get here because like I had to fail a lot of stuff before I realized I was meant to do something like this and failure like I said is not the worst thing that could happen take failures as a lesson like you know you you fail until you learn how to not fail as you know if that makes sense but yeah I want to thank everybody that's been supporting the channel for like again the last couple years you know I I, I intend on going as hard as I, as I've been going over the course of the next future. I, I'm basically doing YouTube as long as I can, you know? <laughs> Until y'all get tired of me. Something else I want to ask you guys also is in the comments, whether you've been watching the channel recently or you've been watching it for years, I want to know what it is that I can personally do to to do better. Because, you know, like, I, I don't I do not do content in a way where it's like, I got this figured out, because I don't. You know, that's why a lot of times I'll do a video and I'm like, 
Oh, y'all yeah, actually were excited about this. I, I'm genuinely like confused sometimes when I upload something and I see how hype people are to watch whatever it is they're watching. Whenever I ask for feedback, I mean it. Like, if you have any kind of feedback for me on how to improve, how to make the content better, then let me know. You know, like I said, I'm, I will do my best that I can to, to deliver the content that you're looking for. And I'm, I'm gonna keep doing it as long as I can, you know, as long as I can. Starting to kick in now. I think it's officially started kicking now because now that I'm seeing that on the wall, it's it, it's like hitting completely different. Thank you guys for everything for like the last couple years. Again, I keep on, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going as much as I can. I'm gonna keep doing YouTube for as long as I can. In the meantime, I want you guys to do for yourself what's best for you for as, as hard as you can for as long as you can. I want you guys to basically pursue the thing that's gonna make you happy over the course of your entire lifetime. And what that thing is, Write it out to the universe. Let me know down below in the comments of what that thing is. And I want to see you guys get to those goals. And over the course of the next couple of years, I want you guys to come back to the videos and say, Ryan, remember that thing I told you four years ago? I did it. I still get those kind of comments every now and then. But I want to still keep seeing that kind of stuff. You know, I, I, I like every time I see someone pop in and say, remember Ryan, I told you I was going to graduate with a 4.0? I did it, Ryan. Are you proud of me? Absolutely, I am proud of you. And it's, just keep doing it. Keep doing all that. Keep making it happen. And I want you guys to achieve whatever it is you guys can achieve throughout the duration of your life. So, yeah. I'm going to do it right here. We'll be back to playing, you know, games and stuff tomorrow. But I had to put this video out, you know. Like I said, it's, it's, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the comment section below. Peace.